Page fans, here we go with fight number four, a welterweight contest and set for three five-minute rounds and proudly brought to you by our good friends at Addicted to Ink. The man in charge when the first round goes, the cage master, Greg Clinions. Fight fans, first up and presenting to you out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist standing 189 centimetres, 6 to the old scale, at 24 years of age and tipping the scales tonight for you at 77.2 kilograms with two MMA fights, with two wins, one by way of KO for Adrenaline MMA. I present to you Kevin Joseph. Matt Myers. And so we turn our attention and into the blue corner we go. A black belt judo exponent and standing at 188 centimetres, six foot one on the old scale at 26 years of age and tipping the scale presenting himself tonight at 77.55 kilograms with three fights, with two wins, one loss, two by way of KO for absolute MMA Collingwood. Kevin just said, and fighters to center ring. Gentlemen, we've been through the rules. You need to protect yourselves at all time and obey my commands at all time. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch gloves if you want. Back to your corner. This fight has huge implications in the welterweight division. Both sure. guys up and comers. Both are looking to establish themselves as the next big thing. Well. Either of these guys would be worthy opponents against the best welterweights, that's for sure, because they both Judge. bring a lot of game. Judge. Judge. Time. What do we expect from, from Matty opening up? Are you ready? I mean, Matty, Matty's not afraid to fight. I think he's going to be looking to just keep his fight on the feet and strike, given uh, Kevin's judo yeah. background. But he is very capable on the ground. Recently received his purple belt in jiu-jitsu. Obviously, just said he's the, the taller, the ranger out of the two, but... Maddie's got power in those hands. He's a devastating striker. Yes, he does. Very creative as well. Got to be careful in this clinch. Watch out for the elbows and knees. Absolutely. Off the clinch, they're going to be telling. Very important. Both fighters just kind of filling each other out. Neither are afraid to step forward, though. Both are looking to exchange quick. Oof. Body kick from Matt, answered by a right hand from Kevin. Again, big kick from Matt, answered again by Jacet. Kevin's not afraid to sit there and strike. There's that judo right now. There's that beautiful big outside judo. read. Beautiful takedown. Matt Myers on his back. Jacet has got an overhook on that left hand side. He's got that overhook nice and tight. Myers is a very capable grappler, so I'm not too concerned from just yet. Obviously, Jacet. This is part of his game plan is the Juro Black, but he's always going to want to throw people down to the ground, use those trips. Absolutely. But just that's also ranked in Jiu-Jitsu as well. Let's watch him see if he mounts, decides to mount here. He doesn't have an underhook. Just got to be super careful. Look how he's using his head to head. pin Matty to the mat. That's very, very intelligent. Matty doing his best to avoid the pass, but boom, he's right inside control. He's doing a hell of a job. Just that's sitting through to the Keza Katami. Yeah. Trying to avoid the recovery, that's perfect tactics. Just to avoid someone trying to get a knee inside or a foot inside, just switch your hips. We call that a hybrid judo side control. You know, chest says side control, legs say judo. It's a nice way to stop, to shut down the recovery from side control. The boy's right in front of us here. Looks like just sets fishing for a, almost like a scarf hold or an arm bar from that position. Yeah, and uh, Maddie's just trying to dig himself out with that underhook as well, but just sets doing a hell of a job keeping him there. Here he goes, digging himself out. Nice adjustment by Joe Set. Myers has got to be super careful here not to take too much damage from those elbows. Oof. Someone's cut. I think Maddie might be cut. I think so, a small cut over the uh, right eye, Frank. You see how he's, he's checking that elbow? He obviously, he's, he's trying to shove him between his legs and hit him with a triangle here. Bit of an awkward position for both fighters. Almost locked up. 
Maddie's got an underhook, but Giselle's got that overhook tied on it, shutting it down with that whizzer. Yeah, it's super tight. It's kind of like a weird whizzer. And usually you wouldn't do that. Usually you look for an underhook on that far side to avoid having your back taken, but he's doing a hell of a job. He's got Myers all wrapped up. He's gone for that armbar. He's the triangle. Here it comes. Oh, it's a beautiful setup to the Kimura. He's in what we call the bum gun. This is horrible for Matt Myers. This is what we call the bum gun position, like a cross side crucifix position. You can strike from it. You can do all sorts of triangles, armbars from here. Myers is in bad shape. Dude, look at that. He's Kimura setting. Frank. You look at that Kimura on that far side. It's coming. He's setting him up for it. Myers is stuck and he's bleeding horribly from that right side of his face. You see how he's got a, a mounted triangle and he's looking for that arm. That far arm is all by itself. <laughs> look at that. He's right in the bum gun right now. Look at that. This is The referee's having a good look at it. Look at him. Right now, Josette is in a perfect position. Look at that. That's an incredible position to strike. Look at this. It's got a triangle. Yeah, Myers in a horrible spot. Oh, it's, it's a bad spot, Aiden. Calm. It's a bad spot. This is an incredible clinch and control position from... For Joe Set, he's looking at that Kimura on that far side. It's there for the taking. Joe Set can take his time. He has a plethora of attacks from this position. There's triangles. Obviously, he's still in a triangle, but that other arm is all by itself. Look, he's trying to put an American. Look at this. He's trying to put an American on that far arm. That's incredible. Myers is in a world of trouble right now. Joe Set's isolated. Here comes the Kimura. He's going to pull it to his chest. Look at that. He's going for the arm. Oh, Myers is out. Myers is out and up to his feet. Unbelievable escape. They said there's no quitting, Matt Myers. Tough as wow. nails. Ooh. There's no quitting, Matt Myers. That was insane. He's on his feet. He's on his feet. Incredible. 34 seconds left in this round, Aiden. Your boy might just make it out of round one. Unbelievable heart by Matthew Myers. They said Matthew Myers was born to be a fighter. You're going to have to kill him to put him away. Oh, God. Maybe all that blood was very helpful in helping him slip out because you know what that feels like. Big elbow from Myers over the top, but Jacet just keeping that pressure on, keeping him pinned against the cage. Staying very calm, Matt Myers. Like the... Wow, what a first round. I hate to say it, but very clear one side around for Kevin. Oh, Jacet, absolutely. That first Look, round. I mean, I, I'm, I'm shocked that Matty Myers got out of that because that position, that cross side crucifix, is a horrible position to be stuck in. I know it very well, I love that. I, I use that all the time in Jiu-Jitsu. Matt Myers is the warrior. He's not going to quit after anything. You're going to have to kill him okay. to put him down. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. That, knowing just who he is as a person, he's not going to quit for anything. Absolutely, we might see the first elbow. This is after the first elbow. Now watch this setup. He picks him up for the armbar and he hooks in the triangle on that far side. Look at that. Classic. It's like a crucifix with the head and arm. It's like a seatbelt with the legs over the head and the arm with the legs. So powerful, look at this, he incapacitates your partner so well. It was a miracle, he got, you know what, I thought he rushed that arm bar a little bit at the end, to be honest. I wouldn't try and finish that style arm bar in that position, but nonetheless, spectacular to watch. A very unconventional offense from Kevin Gissette. So you don't see that often in MMA. Right. Matt, Kev. Let's wow. see what these fellas have to offer in round number two. Good. Are you ready? Man. Whew. Are you ready? Fight. Boom. Oh, oh, head kick, Myers. Oh, Myers, that's shooting in. He doesn't want anything to do with that. <laughs> well, inside reap takes him down. Oh, boy. Okay, straight down. Not a good place for Matt Myers. Don't grab the fence. Don't but grab he's the a fence. gun off his back, too. He is. He's a beast on the ground. It's just, given what happened that first round, he wants to be careful not to get stuck in an awkward position like that again. He's bringing up his guard. He's looking for an arm. Just sets all over that. Look, Maddie's looking for that arm. He's cutting that angle. Yep. Looks familiar. Seen you do that before. Here we go. He's he goes the arm. He goes for the armbar. Just set stacking, doing the right thing. But he is. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. He's going to try and extend Jusset's right arm right now. You can see he's got that left deep hook in there. It's not very deep, though. That's the problem. I'm a little bit worried about it. You want to get that hook super deep to try and get a good bite on the end of that wrist to leverage the arm into a straight position for the armbar. Looks like he's might be given up on a little bit. Excellent defense by Josette for sure. Myers looking to switch to it. No, back to the armbar again. Josette's defending really well. Identifies he's in trouble. Here he goes. He's got that right deep hook into that wrist. Let's see if he can get some extension. Oh, he oh, pulls straight out of it. Out. Wow, that's so dangerous pulling out like that. I think the blood might have came into play there. Maybe, Frankie. maybe. He's looking at another armbar. The elbow's slightly get. out. He's going to get out of it. Josette on top, dropping elbows. Let's see how much he makes. Matty Myers pay for this.
man, that armbar you pulled off in the same situation in that fight against the uh, eight. Josh Togo. Oh my God, dude. I, dude, that was spectacular. That was one of the best arm bars off, your, off a person's back I've seen in MMA, honestly. Appreciate it, Frankie. No, it was spectacular. Come What's on, you, I know you've watched it 8,000 times. I've watched it 9,000 times. <laughs> Togo was a very, very tough fighter, so I was, I'm happy I got away with that one. Dude, get away with it. You kidding? That was amazing. Look at this. He's got an Americana on there. Oh, he's oh, he's it. oh, this is a shoulder. bad spot. He's got him in a terrible spot. That's a really bad spot right now for Joe Said. He's got to be super careful. He pulls out. Oh, he's got the other arm on the other side. He's extending his hips. He's going to try and get leverage. He's trying to punch through that. Joe Said doing a great job, staying composed and stacking his way to safety. But it ain't over yet. He's still stuck in Matty Myers' Myers guard. He's still in this fight and he's still looking to finish. I told you, Matty Myers is dangerous off his back, as you know. Doing a great job. 240 left in round two, Aiden. It's one of those things where you think that it'd probably be wiser for him to start to work his way back up to his feet and re-engage with the striking again. Not that he's not doing well on the ground. He pulls off one of these submissions and the fight is over, but it's one of those things where we're halfway through the second round now. Matty's looking for a sweep. He's looking for a sweep. Here he goes. He's setting up that violin sweep on that side, but he needs an underhook on that side too. Match. Josette doing a hell of a job controlling his posture now. Like, you know, Matty hasn't had a really good bite. He's got a shoulder lock. Look at that. He's just climbed up on Josette's right shoulder and locked it. That means he's attacking Josette's right arm. He's got to look for... Oh, he's just broken through. Let's work, gentlemen. Let's work. Great guard defense by Josette. Absolutely. He's defending for sure, very right? well. For sure. Oh, here we go. He's going for it again. He's going for it again. Mai's looking to peel that top leg this time. He's got to get that foot behind the knee. He's going to have him in the bum gun. Check it, it's an inverted bum gun. Check it out. This is sort of like a cross side crucifix, like a seatbelt with the legs around the head and the arm. Very awkward opponent. position. Awkward Insane. Position. Look how effective that is. He's going to roll him over with that Kimura grip. Watch this. Very there he goes. Rare. You there he goes. He's got that triangle's pretty, pretty tight. You know, I think he's going to learn from that first situation. He's going to be, he should be. Should have taken some serious notes last time he was here. It looks bad for, for Myers right now, but Josette's doing a great job. He's got to control Myers' left arm. He's got to control it in that Kimura grip and set up his submission from there. Let's see what he chooses to do. See how he doesn't have control on that left arm? <sighs> Crazy position. It's just almost alien to me, Frankie. I've got to show you. I've got to show you. It's you awesome. Do. We call it the bum gun. It's insane. It's a great position for striking and just for submission. End up in like a sprawl position. Jacette spins to the back. Oh man, he really, he really led him off the hook. But that was spectacular to watch again. Matty Myers on his feet. Back to his feet once again. No quit, Matty Myers. Absolute warrior. Jacette just provides some very unique offense. Unique to me, anyway, Frank. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things where you don't see it very often in MMA. Very rarely. Very. It's rarely. coming up more and more though. It's coming up more and more. I've been working on it myself for three years, just so you know. It's that cool. Myers working the Kimura, slips off. Fifteen seconds left in this second round. Myers breaking down Jacette's posture, save himself from taking some big shots. Jacette content to just sit and work from on top and chip away. Yeah, Matt's done a great job to survive. Again, in a bad spot. How tough is he? Jeez. <laughs> So tough, so tough, <laughs> so tough. Aiden, you take us through these replays, man. I just, I... In a round number two in Murray. Absolutely. I want to see that insane position again. So here we go, the start of the second round. Matt came out looking to swing. Jacette got that inside leg trip and dragged him down, looking to work on it. From here we see Myers throwing up a really tight armbar. Actually, a little bit after this, he got that second foot around. He's cutting that angle beautifully and setting up that armbar, but just said, identified he was in trouble, stacked him down, didn't take any risks, and slowly worked his way out. From here, you see Matt trying to find an angle, just set finding posture and firing down at him, looking to kind of worsen that cut of Matt's. Again, Matt looking for that armbar, just awkward angles. A lot of awkward grappling exchanges in here, but both fellas looking for the finish. Again, here we see Jacette looking for what we call the bum gun, I believe. <laughs> New to me. But almost like a reverse triangle. Very awkward position for Myers. You can see he's in a lot of discomfort, but there's no quitting that man. From here, but Jacette spinning to take the back. And Myers working his way back up to the feet. Here you see Jacette full posture. I hate to say it, Frankie, but I believe Jacette is two rounds up and Matt needs a finish going into the third round. Yeah, certainly does. But is there anyone that can do it? It's Matt Myers. This is an incredible matchup. Jacette's got to stay calm and he has to continue 
his game plan because he can't lose his confidence just thinking, I've had him in bad trouble two rounds in a row and I couldn't finish him. You can't think like he's got to stay positive and thinking, okay, I'm going to just keep the onslaught, I'm going to keep the pressure and I'll find a way through. You know, on the other side of the coin, Matt Myers survived two of those rounds. His confidence has got to be, well, he's given me his best shot and I'm still here, so I've got a shot and I'm going to keep throwing offense. And, but he's on his back again. Looks like he's worked his way straight back up to his feet, though, Frankie, this time. Looking for the single leg, looking for a takedown of his own. Here he goes. In the Here high crotch. Switching Here he goes. the outside, around to the back. Oh, this is an excellent position by Matty Myers. Matty Chris Myers surging forward. Just set looking for the judo throw, but Matt too slick for it. Gets on top. Credit to Doucette, still looking for offense when he's, even after having his back taken. He's got to be careful not to get mounted right here. He doesn't have any guard clothes right now. If you have a look, Frankie, uh, Matt's actually got Doucette's far wrist trapped with a bit of a really awkward grip here. Yeah, we call this a 5-0 grip where you just put, you, you control their wrist from the far side. It's like what Khabib likes to do. Exactly, and Matt looks to pass the half guard. Well, this is the spot. Much better position. If he's got his arm trapped in this, he does, and now he can strike from there. Doucette's showing some urgency because he knows how dangerous that position was. Matt passes back to half guard again. He's oh. looking to surge. Talk about pulling it out at the right time. Looks like Excellent it's... counter grappling. Sorry, Aiden. No, no, go for it. Go for it, mate. Myers sliding over to three-quarter mount. He has oh, a full, full mount. mount. Matt Myers with full mount. He's going to lay down some ground and pound. He's going to force just set to turn. Here he goes. He's looking Gets for the back. the back. He has the neck. He has it deep. He has it deep. He's Matt Myers is surging. Matt Myers can pull it out from the depths of defeat. He's got that neck. Oh, just set is going to stand up. Oh, he breaks Myers, it off. let's go. Oh, my goodness. forward. Oh, my goodness. What a fight, Frank Barker. This is unbelievable. We, we, we knew this was going to be potentially a fight of the night. Matt Myers, gritty, tough, just hanging in there under pressure. And of course, Kevin Jusset, I mean, just firing on all cylinders, trying to find a way to win and escapes the rear naked choke position up to his feet like an absolute champion. It's like no stranger, Jusset is definitely going to look for another of that takedown here. Let's see what Matt Man, Myers has. How tough. Woo. 2.39 left in this round. It's the last round. Keep working, keep working. I'm just amazed at the toughness of Matt Myers. I knew he was tough, but <laughs> God. What's your eyes? Well, the super talented dude. He really is super talented Absolutely. martial artist. And to have that kind of grit and determination as well, I mean, what a, what a, a great... Uh, this is only your third, pro, uh, third pro fight too, Frank. I know, right? What a huge future ahead. Both these fellas. Yeah. Taking nothing away from you. Like you said, both of them rising stars in the welterweight division in Australia, that's for sure. Beautiful take. And he turns it around, looking for that arm bar again. Oh, he's got that arm extended. Oh, it's in a bad spot. Just Josette pulls his arm out. Stacks his way out. Great defense again. Man, both boys so tough to finish. Minute 50 left in this fight. Myers needs to find a way to finish this fight if he wants to leave here with a win. Chris Brown screaming instructions from the red corner. Jusset's looking to trap that far wrist. Matty's looking to work his way back up. That Jusset gets a hook. 133 left. All or nothing by Jusset right now. I mean, he's on top. If he can finish this round on top, it looks pretty good for him. I mean, you got to give him those first two rounds, right, Aiden? You, you do. You, you have to. I have Unfortunately, to. I know it hurts to I'm hear trying it, to be on, as unbiased as I can in your dude, life. Dude, no, you, you, you're doing awesome, man. You're doing awesome. You know, I, I don't want you to, I want you to take it personal. It's more entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's your buddy hard. in there. It's your training it partner is. in there. It is. Let's work, gentlemen. Yeah. Come on. Let's work. Just said, looks like he's content to just hold Matt down right out this round. He's not yeah. looking to finish anymore. And I get that. Nice he's been pass. in trouble a few times. Nice pass. I can't see what he's got on that far side, if he's got an underhook on there or not. But I believe he does, Frankie. He does? Well, that was a perfect pass. We call that the Let's no work, hand pass gentlemen. or a knee slice pass. The side control. He's got that judo side control. Matty giving up his back. He's doing something drastic to quite, trying to create He an has opening. to. 40 seconds. 40 seconds left in this fight. Tiago Stefanuti giving him instructions not to take the back, just to stay on top. He, he doesn't listen. Here he goes. Almost looks like he was looking for a super left stretch for a second there. Yeah, he's found himself in a bad spot, and Matt oh, Myers is on top. hard. 20 seconds to go. 18 seconds left in this fight. Can Matt Myers find a way to finish? Josette throwing everything at Matty, up kicking his heart out. 10 seconds left in this fight. A little too late. Big punches from Matt Myers, but too little, too late. What a, Man, what a great fight. Both guys, Warriors. Fantastic. We got the cards. Blue Corner.
Kevin Jasset. Fantastic performance from both these fighters, both tough as nails, both very well rounded. Excited to see these guys both in the cage again. Congratulations, Kevin Jasset, and commiserations to Matt Myers. You have a huge, huge future ahead, mate. Can't wait to see you do it again. All right, I'm here with your winner, Kevin Jasset. Kevin, congratulations. I have a question. How close was that rear naked choke at the end? You can't ask my training partners, man. That was not even close. I'm used to train with so many guys. And by the way, I thank very much Oliver Smith, who I've been training a lot in Jiu-Jitsu. I don't know where you are, brother. I know you are here, but I love you, my man. Thanks for your help. Let's go to the replay, Kevin, and see your handiwork. It was an incredible performance of Jiu-Jitsu. Here you go. Talk us through it. Yeah, to be honest, I really wanted to finish, but I'm not the kind of guy who is looking for the decision. I always want to finish, otherwise for me, I'm not really happy, but my tonight was very, very strong. I wasn't expecting an opponent as strong as that, to be 